A groundbreaking ceremony for the launch of the National Broadband Network kicked off on Tuesday in the premises of the Ministry of Telecommunication and Postal Services in Gumbo area of Juba. The ceremony was attended by the President of the Republic, Salfakir Mayardit, and many other dignitaries as well as traditional elders and dancers who converged at the event to share the jubilation of the groundbreaking launch ceremony. On his address during the occasion, President Kir calls on the citizens to embrace peace as his government lays down the plan to build the country's infrastructure with the example of the official launch of the National Broadband Network. Today, with laying of this foundation stone for the national broadband infrastructure, we are setting a clear demonstration of the government efforts towards development and delivery of services to, the, to our people. In this joyous occasion, I compliment the efforts of my office and the Ministry of Telecommunication and Postal Services in the constructive engagement they are having to make this project a success. On her part, the Minister of Telecommunication and Postal Services, Rebecca Joshua Kwachi, said this project will boost the country's economy, bridge the digital gap, and create job opportunities for the youth. Your Excellency, this day marks the kicking off of groundbreaking of this huge project, which requires a national data center. Its completion will automatically link South Sudan to global superhighway as the fiber optic cable connects South Sudan to a submarine cable system. That will also, Your Excellency, shows and highlights the name that some of my colleagues have been putting on me, Madam Fiber Optic, Mrs. Fiber Optic, Mrs. Gateway, all of them are sitting here, cyber security. Today, I would like us to see this cable behind us here is what we call the fiber optic, and this is what his Excellency, the President, with us buried here today. This is a zero kilometer. This is the beginning of the fiber optic here where we are. Meanwhile, the Chinese ambassador to South Sudan, Mark Quinn, said his country will continue to work with the government of South Sudan to launch more large-scale developmental projects in the country. China has been continuously providing humanitarian and the development assistance to South Sudan and to South Sudanese people. I firmly believe with the joint efforts of all South Sudanese people and the international community, South Sudan will resolve the current crisis and make new achievements of social and economic development. This is a groundbreaking ceremony indeed. As you can see from my left, we have dancers from my right. Everywhere is a jubilation indeed. What a wonderful time here at the groundbreaking ceremony of the launch of the South Sudan National Broadband Network here in Gumbo. My name is Tech Stephen Ugut for South Sudan Television.